Welcome back, another episode. Even though it follows the best episode of the season, by Weeping Cross, it nevertheless makes an impression, albeit in a somewhat different way. The time in Snowpiercer Season 4 has been split fairly evenly between several locations, but in Episode 8, the focus shifts to New Eden, and the characters evoke a strong sense of sentiment for the area and one another, which gives the struggle a lot more emotional weight. Let's dissect it. Permit me to update you on the most recent events in the Snowpiercer universe. The last episode ended rather dramatically, after Admiral Milius and then Mr. Wilford were killed. Nima took control of the train and the rest of the IPF, Leighton, Josie, and Liana were left stranded outside the silo in a few of the rear carriages, and Javi had a bomb explode in his face. By Weeping Cross promptly tackles each of these issues, Leighton is freezing while attempting to reach the silo via the antiquated radio system. Javi is alive but severely confused used, and Alex has accepted her new duty as Nima's right hand. The good news is that Big Alice can now return to New Eden because of the explosion on the tracks, but it won't exactly be a joyous homecoming. When Till finally meets Miss Audrey, she isn't exactly thrilled about it because of her near-death experiences and the new facial scar that serves as a constant reminder of them. A delirious Javi asks about Ben right away, and Ruth doesn't have the courage to tell him about him in his current state. Leighton and Josie are also not having a great time when the former freezes to death. And I mean it literally, by the time Roch, dressed like an IPF soldier and having answered to their distress call, bundles them into a snowcat, he has no pulse. Fortunately, Josie is able to bring Leighton back to consciousness, however, is CPR effective in treating hypothermia? Every road comes together. By weeping cross again cleverly flips the focus of the program. In contrast to the preceding episodes, which focused entirely on getting to Snowpiercer and leaving New Eden behind, now the focus is entirely on New Eden. As previously stated, Ruth, Till, and the others who were left behind have already returned, and Leighton, Roch, Josie, and Liana will follow shortly after. While Snowpiercer makes its way there, Nima gives Alex the assignment of determining how to modify Big Alice so that it may be reunited with Snowpiercer, and coming up with a plan to storm the community with Dr. Headwood and the other IPF soldiers. A few people in New Eden wish to flee, but Ruth immediately puts an end to that plan. There's never a safe place to go, thus, New Eden's lack of safety doesn't justify leaving. Furthermore, why should they be required to? Thus, the community of New Eden seeks to choose the best course of action for defending itself while Nima and company strive to figure out how to take it out. This arrangement does a terrific job of creating tension. To prevent the IPF from detonating the explosives on the ridge, the residents of New Eden devise a sensible, if not entirely successful, plan to move Big Alice onto a track on the opposite side of town, burying the tracks in the process. However, since most residents still want the ability to run if necessary, that makes the switches that operate the tracks a prime target that cannot be destroyed. With that, the others prepare an ambush on Main Street, leaving Josie and Boki to risk their lives to protect the computer that runs the tracks. The entire situation casts a shadow over New Eden because no one is very optimistic about their chances of defeating Nima and the IPF. When Till and Audrey eventually have their romantic stroll around the town, Javi decides to find out which frequency all of the bombs are on in Ben's recollection. They're all determined to defend their new residence. The battle begins. The battle for New Eden begins in Snowpiercer Season 4, Episode 8. After considerable prodding, Nima consents to allow Alex to enter the neighborhood covertly in the hopes of changing the tracks without causing any harm to anyone. However, a sniper stationed on the ridge is keeping an eye on her and her unsubdued entourage of IPF soldiers. Naturally, there is some misunderstanding when Alex is seen arriving, and then everything goes crazy. Naturally, this is how by Weeping Cross closes, with everyone battling for their lives outside and Alex being detained at gunpoint in front of the track switch. The cliffhanger serves its purpose nicely because it's easy to conceive that a few of the main cast members could be killed off in the upcoming episode. Who will win in the end? We'll have to watch and find out. For more videos, subscribe.